This is the big day, you're opening the park. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about the outcome? Oh, I think, it, look, it's a piece of fantasy, and it's, this would never come out of the state planning process. Mm. Not a chance. You know, this is a, this is a bit of sort of creative madness, but it's the right kind of madness, you know? Sydney Harbour Bridge came down on the harbour like a, a theatrical curtain. And we always regarded the good harbour as the eastern side and the grungy old harbour as this side. But this is the side with the great possibility at the end of the maritime and industrial period, right? To put together at the foot of a city of five or six million people, which Sydney will become, at the foot of it, this natural playground, you know? This constellation of headlands. Uh, which New York doesn't have, and Paris, of course, doesn't have, and London doesn't have. And, you know, if it had been just a wharf with a few bowling green lawns and planter boxes <laughs> and gee whiz bits of art, it would have been a complete failure. You've used a lot of natural materials from the site. Uh, I think you're instrumental in all these beautiful sandstone blocks being excavated. Yeah. Mm. Well, Peter Walker, the American designer here, and I understood one thing. If the fact that there was a headland here until the 1960s meant that this was the hardest stone around here because otherwise it, it, through the millions of years it wouldn't have been here, it would have been out at sea, right? Mm. So uh, that gave us a clue, maybe if we go down, we want to have a cultural space and a car park, we could mine the blocks out of there. So these blocks are, these blocks are a metre square, they're two metres long and there's 9,600 of them. Wow. <laughs> you know, uh, it's a, a big mining operation. And what about the planting? Are you happy with the planting? Yeah. Well, this is the first attempt to put uh, onto a headland in Sydney the natural flora that Sydney had before European settlements. In all the other points of Sydney, they've all been cleaned out, and, you know, uh, yeah. knocked over. And... A few liquid ambers <laughs> put in. <laughs> That's right. So you've had quite a battle to against what you call the architectural archaeologists yeah, who yeah. wanted to keep the old wharf. Yeah. Um, how did you how did you win that battle? Well, just by doggedness. You see, this is the whole thing about industrial archaeology. You know, uh, it it was like an aircraft carrier, big slab of concrete, like an aircraft carrier. And the fact that we had it didn't mean to say we had to keep it. So I took the view it should not be it should not be an urban renewal, but an urban reconstruction. This is a reconstruction. This is new, right? This is not reinterpreting a bit of old industrial archaeology, and. You know, I just think the people who want to keep old lumps of stuff like this are dull, conservative and wrong. 